one down, Gareth. How do you feel? Uh, I need to work on my putting. <laughs> that's a, do you know what? That's probably right. Oh, that's pure, mate. What a drive. Great drive, mate. 192. This is a very, very good par five, well, especially if you're playing it in the winter because it's a long approach in and you wait and see the green. It is tight, tight green, bunkers either side. I'm going to hit five iron here. The wind's slightly with, um, but you can see the, the red flag there. So that means it's front, front of the green. So I don't mind being a little long if I do stripe it. Slightly right. It's okay. So I have one at five. Okay. I'm going to hit five iron. Same club. Um, it is, like you said, red flag. I just know from this hole, short's good. Uh, obviously on the green's even better, but long isn't great on this hole, so we'll just uh, under club slightly, I think. Oh, Gareth. Oh, it's just peeling off to the right, mate. Didn't Which you? Strike? Yeah. Come out trying good. to draw a little bit. Come out good. So you can see that this is the approach to the hole. This is notoriously quite a wet hole. Um, so the grass is relatively long and I get that, so that's fine. But you can see as we approach this green, it is a horrendously tight. And that pin position is, is a bit of a sucker pin there. Um, I would say what, there's 25 feet between those bunkers where that pin position, pin position is there. Uh, so a tough approach, especially when you've got up to 200 yards. If anyone's local and wants to come down here and have a game, uh, I would recommend sort of the best time, although the greens are magnificent today, but the best time is for me here is spring leading into summer. Um, the greens, they just get, they just get so, so good. Um, and I'm down here sometimes. Gareth's here all the time. He's the head pro here, as you probably all know. That's you. That me, is it? Yeah. Goodness me. And that wasn't cheating, by the way. The bungers are out of play. All right. <laughs> so we both have the same shot here. This is a this is a hopefully a masterclass of short game. But today it hasn't been particularly good, has it? We'll find those. So I'm going to play this, which is probably the wrong shot. Considering I'm one up, I should probably just dink it to the right hand side of the and just maybe make the two putt. Um, but I'm not here just to do that. I'm here to hit some good shots. So I'm going to try and hit a little sort of semi-flop shot over there, land it just on that bank on the down slope and see if it will just pop down the pin. Sounds easy, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> All right, and just show the guys how that, how that sort of ended up there. You're proud of it, aren't you? I'm a little bit proud of that one, mate. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's a gimme. That certainly is a gimme. Gimme birdie, Gareth. What's going on? Yeah. All the pressure's on now, isn't it? It certainly is. It certainly this is. is. Where I, uh... This could be dormy too if you don't up and down it from oh, here. Oh, I know. Do you know what? That's the first time I've ever described a shot and it's actually worked. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? It never happens. Let's see what Gareth's got. Let's see if he go. What is the same approach, Gareth? Or yeah, yeah, going uh, fifty-eight degree aerial route a little bit. But then this is maybe your curse, where I describe it really well and then just faff it. You got long. Is it? Oh, that's not a gimme. A bit long. That's not a gimme. The pressure's on. Go dormy two down, Gareth. What a day. I Middle of, well, end of January. Must be what, nine, 10 degrees. Seems like March. Not yeah. a breath of wind. Greens are great. What more could you ask for, mate? Um, to haul this? I mean, you're, due, you're, due a, you're due a putt, to be fair. The putting has been pretty good today, so. Your putting has been absolutely atrocious today. You haven't held a single putt inside five feet. 
Yeah. No, probably three feet. Thanks. <laughs> this is your time to shine. Now he's a clutch player. Ah, oh, what a guy. What a golfer. Just a bite. Sticks it to one down still. <laughs> Take a couple of birdies down that stretch of uh, a hole. I have to make you work a wee bit sometimes. Good. Will I learn my lesson this time? No. <laughs> this is a hard 138, 138 uphill. Hard 54. I'm not hitting a wedge, I'm hitting Ooh. a 9 iron. Can you believe this? Now, I've got to take something off this, which I'm going to really struggle with. I kind of wish you were hitting a wedge, hit it hard. I know, I know. But I'm going to try and learn. And do you know what? It's been great to come out here because what I've realised, which you don't really feel on Trapman, is that my sort of takeaway is really inside. So I've got something to work about, you know, work on now, which is great. Um, on the, uh, the tall, tall tree there, isn't it? And just peel it back a wee bit. That's the plan, mate. It's just so bad and short. It might hang on. Oh, bunker. Another absolutely awful shot by me. It's one of those games where somehow I'm ahead, but I shouldn't be. Yeah. And it's just down to the putts. I'm not striking it at all well. I haven't hit any greens. Um, but it's just the way the golf ball happens, mate. It's how it happens, you know. That's a great strike. Could be short though, mate. Oh, spin. I'm in trouble now. <laughs> this could come down to the 18th quite easily here. 54, chip and run, land it with the first six feet of the green and let it roll out. Back foot, more like a putting stroke. <laughs> you proud of that one as well? Two in a row that I've actually called and actually done. Isn't that a change? But I don't know if that's good enough, mate. It's a par. It's a great shot. But is it? This is where I hit it too. Is it enough? But the way I'm, I'm not very confident <laughs> at all. And it's quite a pokey little putt, that yeah, one. It's it got a bit a of movement putt. to it. You've got a shift on it. it. Certainly has. So currently sitting a one over, if we count the 16th as a par five. We did, we did play off the decent proper tees, but. Yeah, it did, a par five tees, yeah. I feel like, uh, yeah, so we were both, you're two over and I'm one over, which actually is better than I expected, to be honest. First round back. Come on, Gareth, let's see about... Oh, you hold the last putt. <laughs> Can he bring it to the 18th? This is the question. Oh, Gareth, that was so weak, mate. Such a weak putt. Yep. Disappointing, that should have been a birdie birdie for the last two holes, but last hole, Gareth. One up, at least I can't lose today. That's <laughs> the most important <laughs> yeah. thing. So we've got 2.55 to the flag. Um, it's in between the driver and the free wood. So I think, you know, one up, play it safe. You know, let's not try and smash the clubhouse. Uh, so three wood for me off the deck. I say off the deck, it's got a little teed up position there. Sorry? That's on the top tier. That's like six feet away. That's, yeah, that's, that's came over. That's came over. I actually feel bad about that last shot because that was probably the best shot I've hit this year. So that's nice. Gareth, following suit with the three wood. Yeah, let's see. Game over, so. Turn. Ah, oh, just a little bit out there. Good swing though. No, it's not. Nat. Wow, 
Well, I think you're still your shot, mate, to be honest. It's not me. <laughs> I'll go anyway. It was a great shot from... 255 yards, that's uh, without being, uh, what's, the, what's the word? Showy. Cocky. Cocky, there we go. I don't think anyone will get closer than that today. In for the two, you might as well do it now. This is for the eagle, this is to go under par, believe it or not. Yeah. Three under for the last three. <clears throat> and he's pulled it. Oh well, back to level. Oh, what a shame. Finish it off just for the crack, Gareth. Yeah, it's game over. Emotional. Glove on, will it? Emotional times, mate. Glove on. And he makes the birdie too. Congrats. Cheers. Thank you.